So what else can we do to this family? Of course, we can parameterize uh, material. So I will create a separate material for the tabletop. Click, clicking on this rectangle. And selecting four legs and also creating a new parameter. Okay. Now I will enter some values here. I will use render appearance for the shaded view. Uh, Okay, and we see how it will look like in Revit project. So let's say we want to create a roundings for the uh, tabletop corners. How would we do it? I would go back to the extrusion profile edit. So I can double click on it, which I recommend to learn to, uh, to use because it's just a simple, simple and faster. And now I will create fillet arc of radius of, let's say, 100. If I finish the edit mode, of course, it will rem uh, remember the static value of 100 and um, fit the geometry according to it. But uh, if we want to parameterize the radius of it, we can also do it in the edit extrusion mode. So here I can also add dimensions. This time it will be a radial dimension. And we can parameterize it. I will select now all the dimensions and create a new parameter. Let's make it instance. And if you um, see that there are many annotations overlapping each other and uh, it it's became, becomes hard to read, you can always switch to a lower scale. 1 to 10. And I will finish. OK, again, we can test it. Changing the radius, let's set, say, to 80. Of course, there will be some values that will cause error. So if I enter zero, there is this warning appearing, but of course we can modify it. The last thing we can add to this table is to create a laminate around it. So I will create this time sweep and because I have all the geometry for the path, I will use peak graph too. Remember when I told you that if we, uh, if this is in the wrong place, it can be hard to, to draw on the reference plane. So imagine that I have a reference plane here. It will be hard to, to adjust to the view. If I go to the front, you see that this reference plane is skewed. So it's almost impossible to draw anything when this uh, sweep profile will be positioned like that. So it's always to have it on the straight lines. OK, so when I'm here, I will accept and edit profile. I will draw here something like that. Let's make it I know, 8 millimeters and click Finish. OK, now the geometry overlaps. So we can use a join command. I can use join. And you see, this is now one material because um, I joined these two geometries together. And, it, uh, and now the material of the entire thing is the, the material of the first element I clicked on. So if I undo the changes and first click on the tabletop and then on the rounding on the laminate then 
now it consists of one parametric material. You see? Now it's also parametric.